story that you might be uh, <laughs> excited to hear about. I, th I certainly am. This is kind of fucking hilarious. So, uh, there was a massive surge in GameStop stocks over the last couple days, and it was done because people discovered that there was short stock traders working on doing a short squeeze on it, meaning that they seen it was dying. So what they do then is they borrow a bunch of money to buy the stocks with at a low price. They inflate the stock price. And then when they abandon it, they take the difference for themselves, rebuy the stock when it's lower, and then uh, give the money back to the borrower. Um, it's a good way to finish off dying companies, basically, I guess. So they kind of vulture in on that. And <laughs> a bunch of people on Reddit discovered this. And they went in and they all started uh, spreading the word around Reddit to start buying GameStop stocks. And it went up over a thousand percent. It went from being worth, I think it was around 20 or 20 or 40 dollars before this before the surge. And uh, it went, it hit 500 dollars briefly. <laughs> so <clears throat> now uh, the left wing politic is saying that it is Trumpism which has caused this GameStop stock surge. Uh, so this is kind of the, the some of the vernacular that Trump was using that they're tying into what caused this. So at a, at a rally, he said, I meet these people, they call them the elite. These people, I look at them, I say, that's elite. We got more money, we got more brains, we got better houses, apartments, we got nicer boats, we're smarter than they are, and they say they're elite. We're the elite. You're the elite. We're the elite. So he's telling the people that they're actually the elite. They're better and they're smarter. So I said the other day, let's keep calling these people and let's face it. They've been stone cold losers, the elite. The elite, so let them uh, keep calling themselves the elite. But we're going to call ourselves. And remember, you are indeed, you, hard, you work harder, but you are indeed smarter than them. Let's call ourselves from now on the super elite. We're the super elite. So that's kind of where they think they're drawing the mentality from this Trumpism thing that they've coined now that's led to this uh, uh, destruction of the GameStop uh, short sell where these uh, big time short sellers lost tons of money on this. <laughs> it's gotten to the, it was to the point where uh, certain trading apps started blocking purchase of GameStop as well as uh, AMC which is, uh, what is that again? American Entertainment Holdings and uh, BlackBerry stock as well. So those stocks have actually dropped a bit since they started putting the blockers on. And GameStop started dropping too, although it's, it'd probably be for mixed reasons, I would say. People who already made their money on that decided to get out because they made good coin and they're going to move on to the next thing to try to boost and drop it which is being worked on through, uh, on Reddit, there's a page called Wall Street Bets. That's where all this plan was concocted from in the beginning. And now they're already looking for new targets. Uh, right, so this would be, if you're interested, this would be a way if you follow this where you might be able to, before they start building rules around not being able to do this, because they're already starting to consider that. Obviously, they've blocked the purchase, so that came from a top-down order of someone who had authority. Um, and, <laughs> so, you know, if you wanted to follow something like this and you're into stocks, you might be able to find the next one that's going to boost and then drop. So it might be a good way to make some quick cash. Which is mostly why I thought it would be important to post this, is that, you know, instead of just sitting there reading the story, if you're already invested or you think it's something you'd like to do, this would maybe be a good way to get into the gambling side of it. Traditionally, stocks are more like a long game. You're going to put money in and want to see the company grow that you're investing in and, you know, then take your dividends out as, as you need them kind of thing, right? So, but there's the short game that a lot of people are playing where it's try to get in low and get out high soon and fast. People want things now, 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 right? So, anyway, that's interesting. Hopefully we won't see stuff like this starting to get banned and stonewalled and things like that. I don't think I really put too much more here. 
Uh, except that this time amateur investors decided to revolt against the pros. So this is the what they talk about, the populist uprising that Trump started. <laughs> I don't think it's anything to do with Trump necessarily. I think that people on Reddit, some of them are, are minded enough to uh, see something like this and just do it with or without Trump. Something like this probably would have happened anyway. But uh, calling them the amateurs began a coordinated effort of buying GameStop stock to drive its price higher and higher. Uh, when they outsmart the pros, are they really amateurs at that point? Maybe. Maybe not. And there's no question that the populist revolt has worked for GameStop stock. On December 28th, it was trading at 20.99. On a Wednesday, it was uh, just under 3.35. Like I said, and then Thursday, I think, is when it rolled into its $500 mark briefly. And now it's dropped considerably. It's back down. Uh, let me have a look here. I've got my trading app open, actually. So then we got GameStop. It's now trading at 196. So this is Canadian, mind you. It'd be a little bit of price difference, maybe from the numbers I'm quoting and what I'm talking about now. But they have gone down. It was over. It was 350, and now it's like 196. Two, three. Yeah, that's that's right. So <clears throat> in Canadian funds, at least anyway. But so. So that was a good maneuver, and uh, we'll get into this a little bit more because there's some concerns from other folk talking about it that this is actually like a new, a new leveraging system that uh, you know a group of peasants can use to tool uh, Wall Street with, but that scares the shit out of them because it could potentially cause um, bad things in the market where they had plans to do something. Now you've taken a bunch of money away from a hedge fund. And now they don't have anything to do business with. You fuck them, and so the sort of the uh, uh, the shepherds, I guess you could say, of Wall Street who do these things, these clean up jobs on short trades and stuff like that, um, are at a potential of not having any tools to work with because that's the money, right? If you take the money away, <laughs> it, it fucks them, and they can't do anything. So Republicans in Washington warn Wall Street: the GameStop populists are more powerful than you think. Well, no kidding. This is going to be dangerous because. Biden's talking about this already too. His administration's watching this. So you could see a potential of some kind of rule or law or something maybe coming out, but I don't know how they're going to do it quickly and make it work so that it doesn't take away from what Wall Street actually is too, right? It's not something they should really be messing with. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the future over this. Uh, some of the highlights I took from this. <clears throat> Yes, it did indeed. Uh, it broke uh, share prices of Apple, Goldman Sachs, and General Motors in a day. Now, like I say, it's dropping hard because people are, yes, going to be getting out because the money's good. But because I believe they're also, like I say, going to start going and trying to boost other penny stocks that are on the verge of shellapse. And, uh, you know, whoever gets out first makes the most money at it. It would be a good way to boost people's funds. Just keep playing and paying attention. Here. If you're interested in trying to maybe play a game with all these people, you just seen what happened. Some of those folks got in when it was early, however many stocks that they bought, and they got maybe a couple grand pretty quick, easy. So you know, pretty interesting. It'd be interesting to see how, what some of the bigger buyers were, how many stocks got purchased at once by some people, and then you can really calculate how many, how much money some folks made. There was a comment by someone I was reading that said they paid off thousands of dollars of their student debt. So good for them, I say, you know. Screw Bernie Sanders and his socialists, we'll just get the people to pay for your fucking education. <laughs> Let's just start, uh, just start macking Wall Street. <laughs> hmm. So, some folks are calling it uh, Occupy Wall Street Part 2. Um, only this time now, you know, it's not just standing there, it's actually going in and and mixing it up with them. Uh, Reddit co-founder Alexis Sohanian on uh, Wall Street Bets was actually uh, praising them to some degree, saying, you know, look what happened. Uh, you've pushed them around for long enough and uh, now they've found a way to get back at you and to work your system. 
So LeGraff, I believe, is who's, who's making these statements. But he says there's already seen people on the Wall Street Bets Reddit page looking for new targets, and there are two themes. First, they're looking for highly shorted stocks where big hedge funds might have a lot of leverage. And second, they're looking for nostalgia plays to bring back the companies from their youth. I don't know how true that will remain if this game keeps getting played. Um, and also, if they're going to block you from buying those stocks, then they'll just go somewhere else, right? So... So good luck with that. So that's why Nokia, BlackBerry, and Blockbuster are all getting attention. Now those these did all make boosts, but they're also all now dropping. Um, so it might not be good to get in unless you know you treat this like a a patient that you're giving CPR to, where you're going to breathe some air in him, and then something's going to come out, and you breathe some air in him, and something's going to come out. Just keep on resuscitating these. It'll be interesting to see, like I say, what happens though if they continue to try to block it. Because how can you do that? Nokia, BlackBerry, and Blockbuster are going to have some serious problems with NASDAQ and bullshit if they start blocking them from people buying their stocks just because of reasons. I mean, you know. So, do they not have a right to have people buy their stocks? So, it'd be interesting to see how, like I say, all this ends up working out. Hopefully, this is something that grows and sticks. <laughs> Wall Street investors are going to have to factor in a new set of risks. The risk assessment that they're going to have to make is this. Is this a memeable stock that a bunch of kids on Reddit could hit up and blow up the price, Legate said. So, yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting game. It totally changes the field because this has never really happened before as far as I know anyway. <sighs> There's a feeling I sense across society that people want to go back to a simpler time legate said no one likes covid people don't like the economy uh, don't feel the economy is fair everything looks better in hindsight i would agree with that he also argues that efforts to regulate trading will feel to reddit traders more like suppression and could fuel more anger and i would agree with that too so now you want these vindictive kids really coming after you that's kind of what i look at them as to some degree uh, these are like gamer kids for sure that's why they went to save gamestop possibly and um they're already game minded you know they're strategists they look at how to exploit and uh glitch things if possible so if you want to mess with them and they take it to the next level um you might they might really be in for a lot of trouble <laughs> if they start trying to regulate quite honestly i think about the people who took part in the uh, dismantling of Shia LaBeouf's They Will Not uh, Destroy Us or whatever that was with that camera he had. And uh, 4chan went after that shit and attacked it in, uh, what, three places in the United States. And then he moved it overseas to Norway in an artist's gallery. And they still managed to get people in there too because Keck is worldwide. And they smashed it there too, right? So it's like these are the people that you're dealing with. They aren't stupid. They are smart. They're crafty. They're like, you know, they're not from the book. They're from the bush, and they learn how to do things on the real. You know, it's pretty interesting uh, seeing this kind of stuff evolve. It's almost a form of being a hacker. Interesting stuff. So anyway, if someone on Main Street loses half their portfolio in a day, nothing's going to happen. But if a hedge fund does, they literally stop the trading, which is what I was saying earlier. If they start going after hedge funds and losing their money, um, everyone will just put things on a halt because they're scared of what's going to happen, right? So anyway, he said, I question uh, whether this is really about protecting the individual investor or protecting the hedge fund. And of course, I would say that that's absolutely what it's about. They don't want to see their, um, their jackals uh, lose their teeth, so to speak, by taking that money away from them when they're trying to set up a hedge against something or short trading and then this gets fucked over. They lose all that money that they've pumped into it and they lent, they were borrowed that money, so how are you going to get it back? Anyway, Holmes believes the key to understanding the power of this new movement is the gamification of investing melded with anti-elite fervor. Sticking it to the hedge funds and potentially making a lot of money is simply fun And if you believe it's also the right thing to do and thrive on the engagement of a community of like-minded traders so much the better And it's not just fun. It's actually an act of rebellion. It's actually a revolutionary act When things really get going is when the fun meets the purpose Holmes said this is uh, the perfect storm of those two That's right motivation will will put people to task and uh, these people who are uh, went and did that are obviously highly motivated and they made money to go and do that dirty deed. So good on them. 
His warning to Wall Street is, understand this, be willing to scrutinize yourself. This is not going away and is probably bigger than you think. People need to take the time to understand the social dynamics of this. What are the problems that have created this class of retail investor uh, who seek the complete, uh, to completely destroy your industry? And how do you remedy that, Holmes said. So how do you remedy that? I mean, what's, what's the way that they might do that? Maybe they'll make you buy a license. You'll have to have some kind of credential to even be a trader in the future. If, it, uh, because if it, they take it seriously, which they probably will. I say it'll be interesting to see how this progresses. It's a really powerful message, Legate said. Uh, I think this is the first wave of what's going to happen. Absolutely. But uh, Legate didn't say, uh, said he didn't buy any GameStop stock himself, fool, for fear of an SEC investigation into his viral tweets about the movement. So actually he's concerned that he could get in trouble for it. Will Elon Musk get in trouble for it? Because he's part of who helped blow this all up too. It's worth adding that he tweeted about this and then it really started gaining momentum and taking off because it moved from reddit to a much bigger platform and all kinds of people got in on it and boy oh boy were they ever excited i'm sure of that i wish i would have too boy oh boy if i i had money to get in on that i could have made myself some thousands i got these boomers who fucking see the way i talk sometimes when i'm online and they say, you're one of those Reddit kids, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. <laughs> I'm probably close to your age. But it might be time to get involved with this Reddit stuff and uh, start playing with this. This would be, a, like I say, a good way to uh, boost your capital if you pay attention, follow it, and it works out. Um, instead, he said he is 100% invested in cryptocurrencies, which is what Legate says. I don't know about crypto myself. I mean, I do have a little bit. I just sold, sold some stock in something that was diving, and I didn't like the way that looked. So I got out of that, and I decided that maybe that money, even though I'm losing, I only lost like 20 bucks for pulling it out or something. But I put that money into something else that I think is going to go up and up and up. So, But anyway, that's pretty interesting shit. Hope you liked that segment. I sure enjoyed it. I sure enjoyed it. So anyway, thanks for watching again, and peace out.